hey guys uh welcome back to my channel thank you for watching this video since uh you're saying this you know thank you thank you um thank you for the people that did give me a little bit more constricted cut crit crit cut da, 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 da. so you just wish me i'm having a stroke y'all what the hell anyway thank you guys um, I feel like my sister is low-key lurking on me right now because she thinks it's funny that I do this. So, she's probably staying outside my door right now or leaning up against the wall. But it's okay because we're on, on with the show, honey. Um, I didn't want to do anything extremely fancy and vibrant and all in your face today. So, I'm going to be doing... Uh, I'm gonna eat a bottle of paint if I don't stop. Anyway, try this again. Let's do it, y'all. I'm gonna. I'll get over this eventually. Okay, not the first or second video, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna get past this. So, this I, I put this in my live Monday, I think Monday, but this is called a healing stick. Can you see what it says? Mm -hmm. Healing stick, and. It is amazing. It says, well, I seen it the other day. Apply as needed on lips or dry areas. Well, I use this chopstick 374 times a day, but my face right here also gets extremely dry. So I just take it and just dab just a little bit. It's chapstick for your face, basically. Okay. And it's soft and it smells good and it's just mm, mm. so i've already done my eyebrows if you can is that oh what in the world okay anyways eyebrows are done and my eyelids are primed and i'm ready to smack some eyeshadow on my face so we are gonna go in with the Baby Got Peach palette from ColourPop. Let's open this bad boy for you. Baby Got Peach is what we're going to do. We're going to take a fluffy brush. And so it looks blue because the makeup was done the other day. But I tried to clean it. I think it just stained my brush, honestly. But a little fluffy brush. This is, I can't see what the brand is. This may be a cheap little brush I ordered offline. Because I've used so many times that the actual, yeah, so that's like the name of it, the brand, and it's written off. So, we're going to go in with this first color right here. And we're going to put that all over the eye in the crease and everything. When you're doing your eyeshadow, you want a wide variety of brushes because hold on i think i have to sneeze i think i'm good um you want a wide variety of brushes because there's so many different types of brushes and the sizes and the um the denseness and it's you need a few different brushes for your eyes you need fluffy dense like fluffy okay fluffy brush blending brush and then I have another one that's also fluffy blending blending okay and then I have this one which it's not as fluffy but it's still fluffy also blending um this is just an eyeshadow packer also another fluffy but also a packer this is a small, very dense, tough. Do I see that? Mm -hmm. This is also uh, 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 not really fluffy, but it's very small. It's very dense. I absolutely love that brush, though. Um, I use this little brush right here to put shimmer across my eyelid. Another thing, you guys, oh, Lord, you guys will see me do a lot of half-cut crease. I love 
cut crease, but I also love half cut crease. It is a problem, it is an addiction, and once you do it the first few times, you just can't stop, I promise. I don't know why it looks dark in one spot and not the other spots. Okay. Like I said, we're just going to do something simple today. Um, nothing too dramatic. So, I started watching Stranger Things. Finally, everyone was hyping it up so bad. And I was like, I don't know about it. It doesn't look that interesting. Because I'm not big on aliens or anything like that. It just does not pique my interest. But I started watching it. And I was like, oh my gosh. It is, it is good. It is addictive. I need more. And now I'm on the Stranger Things 2. Season 2. That's what I'm just going to call it. And I'm very intrigued. Okay. So this shade is called Darwin. So that we have Darlin all across our eyelids. We're going to go in with a little bit darker color. But we're not going to go with a darker brown. We're going to go with a peachy brown. So we're going to hit with this color right here. It's called Perky. And we're going to lightly put that in our crease. Also with the sand brush. Because it's not that big of a shade difference. But when we go to a darker, darker shade... We will change brushes. 